It was just an accident waiting to happen, basically. I knew that something was going to happen, I just couldn't tell you what was going to happen. It was only a matter of time before something bad had happened in that place. We were just waiting for something to happen. I wasn't shocked, just sad, really, because it could have been someone's family. Someone could have... It could have been a whole lot worse. If I knew what it was like, I wouldn't have risked my money or, and the heartache of the children's, and, and I wouldn't have taken them there. So, yeah, it was gutting. And to have them crying the whole way home as well was just... That was more heartbreaking for to, to know that your children are upset about that, and I couldn't do anything about it. It's supposed to be a break away from it all. In their literature, Pontins promise holidays like they used to be, creating magical family memories. Yet what visitors to this holiday park found were extras not mentioned in any brochure. That's disgusting. For one mum who simply wanted to treat her children to a holiday after a tough couple of months, the trip turned into her worst nightmare. Sam Sullivan saved £194 for a three-day stay for herself and her two daughters. If I knew what it was like, I wouldn't have risked my money or, and the heartache of the children's and, and I wouldn't have taken them there. So yeah, it was gutting. And to have them crying the whole way home as well was just, that was more heartbreaking for to, to know that your children are upset about that. And I couldn't do anything about it. But it was within my budget. So I couldn't go, that was my only option really. And then I, I booked it last minute on the Thursday and we went Friday afternoon. We got upstairs, um, opened the door, we went into the bathroom, there was no shower curtain, noticed the damp on the walls. And then I think you opened the fridge door. Yeah. And then obviously to our surprise, we found the, the milk. The, there was a bottle of Coke, a bottle of lemonade. And as I looked closer, I could see all the mold. Um, I took the milk out and it was dated the 1st of April and we arrived there on the 19th of April. The smell was absolutely disgusting. It was their only holiday of the year, but Sam was so disgusted with what she found that she drove straight back home to Bristol. My kids having to walk away from a holiday they were hoping for because of the state of disgusting pontins. Girls, what do you think of pontins? Aaliyah, what do you think of pontins? People. There were so many people complaining that I just really want them to shut down and give my mum a full refund. Pontins have fully refunded Sam, who hopes others who also queued to complain will be similarly compensated. We were comparing photos and comparing what our rooms were like. Um, one lady's room was occupied by another family. There was feces on a bed. Um, there was sick that had been mopped up but left in, um, on the side. There was urine in a saucepan by a toilet. One man walked in, there was glass shattered all over his floor. We sent a team into the site in Breen three times to uncover our own evidence. Visits which mirrored much of what others had discovered. We didn't have to look hard to see our apartments weren't clean. Signs of previous occupants are all around. Hair. Dust. Grit. Mould. There are ripped floors, rotting fixtures and fittings, stained bedding, broken bathrooms, just some of the unexpected features of a trip to Pontins in Breen. As well as dirty furniture and bathrooms, there was filthy glassware and decaying cupboards. We were expected to provide our own bed linen, or pay for theirs, and pay for the electricity. But what about the dirt you can't see? We've hired a second chalet and sent in microbiologists from the University of Bath to dig a little deeper. The scientists test four sites in the chalet to see just how many germs are there. And they do the same tests at another well-known hotel chain, charging similar prices to Pontins. It should give us an interesting comparison. The Pontins bedside table looks a lot dirtier than the one in the other hotel. But when we look at the samples in the lab, there's a surprise. Um, this is the control hotel and this is at the Pontins. Oh, there's not much difference. No, it's not, there's not very many bacteria, so each of these spots will have come from one bacterium. So far, so clean. But then the scientists turn their attention to the toilet and its crevices. This time, the picture is not so rosy. Um, what we see ah. is that both of the hotels weren't very clean. Yeah. So, so, yeah, the cleaning isn't very thorough. They might be doing the loose seat, for example, but they're not getting into the into the, the cracks and crannies yes, yeah that's okay. right 
When it comes to the shower curtain, though, the results from Pontins are considerably worse. Their curtain has a much bigger variety of bacteria living on it, which gives the scientists an important clue. So this basically tells us that at the control hotel, they are cleaning it regularly. Um, but at the Pontins Hotel, they're clearly not cleaning it particularly regularly, and this is allowing a greater diversity right. so of you bacteria. Need, you need that grow. time space for, to get that variety. Yes. OK. But when the scientists test the floors, it becomes clear just how poor the cleaning has been in this chalet. So in our control hotel, um, we had a carpet. Right. And in Pontins, we had lino. So immediately, as a non-scientist, I'd imagine that the carpet is filthy because it's, it's quite difficult to clean a carpet properly, isn't it? This is what you would imagine, but actually when we look at the two samples from the control hotel, you don't see very many um, different bacteria. Ha hang on, that's, that's the lino floor at Pontins? This is the lino floor at Pontins, which is filthy. I mean, I'm absolutely amazed by that result, that an easy clean floor at Pontins turns out to be considerably dirtier than a carpet, of all things, at the other hotel. The bacteria we found are harmless, but the scientists say these results can't give us the full picture. You never know when you look at bacteria like that if they're really safe. Most right. bacteria are, and the ones that we have taken out to analyse all were. So we didn't find any problems, but it's impossible to say what you find in a mix, so there could be dangerous bacteria right. in here and the chances of that are higher when you have a bigger variety of bacteria of course. Would you like to stay at Pontins? Absolutely not. Really? What was your impression of it from a scientist's point of view? It was dirty and it just felt unsafe. And it's not just the guest areas that look dirty. One former worker told us conditions were so terrible that the air duct collapse in February was an accident waiting to happen. She asked us to protect her identity for fear of repercussions. It was just an accident waiting to happen, basically. I knew that something was going to happen. I just couldn't tell you what was going to happen. It was only a matter of time before something bad had happened in that place. And having worked there, were you surprised when you heard that it had happened? No. Which must be quite, quite worrying for, for people who who were there to know that people who've worked there weren't surprised when this happened. No, we were just waiting for something to happen. I wasn't shocked, just sad really, because it could have been someone's family. Someone could have... it could have been a whole lot worse. It was sort of expected, after seeing what the situation was and how things were dealt with in that place, it didn't surprise me at all. So you were working in the kitchen. What were the conditions like for the areas where the guests aren't able to go? Just terrible, really. There were wet floors all the time, flooding, just lots of mess. The white walls, they were black, just like filthy dirty. They hadn't been cleaned in ages. And no sooner had you cleaned them, they were dirty again. When you raised it with people, you say you, you mentioned the, the block food shoots to, I guess, a, a sort of a manager or someone who was in charge of the kitchens. Do you feel like your concerns were taken seriously? No. They just left it. So basically, nothing got done about it at all until I tried to sort it myself. All of the staff were summer staff, so every day I went in there, there were no staff. They tried to clean it and sort things out as much as they could, but it was beyond help, really. Did you worry about the guests knowing what the situation was like in the kitchen about the food being prepared there, then going out for guests in the restaurant to eat? Yes, quite a lot, actually. In the end, I didn't want to work there myself, there was quite a few times when things got taken out and the plates didn't come out clean from the dishwasher. It leaked as well. You'd put things in the dishwasher and when they come back out, they were still dirty. And when you hear about people who've taken, you know, their kids away for what is supposed to be a really family nice holiday. Family holiday, yeah. What do you think about about those families who are coming and paying money to stay there? I feel really sorry for them actually. We took her videos to an independent health and safety expert who said... They probably are very busy, but it looked really untidy underneath the sink, the sort of uh, area where they store the chemicals, the floor around the um, wheels of, of the tables. They didn't look as if they were uh, thoroughly cleaned. Uh, very quick uh, look around now. Um, obviously, we would have had a much closer look at what was, um, what was there. But it certainly looked very untidy, uh, quite dirty, 
and um, a lot of damage to the floor. And I think that I, I would expect that to be uh, in Pontins or any other major uh, business. I'd be concerned about the dishwasher because if it's leaking like that, it may not be working properly. The dishwasher is supposed to sanitize or disinfect all of the stuff that goes through it. If it doesn't come up to temperature because of leaks, um, then, or, or it just isn't working properly, then the mess you saw in that sink, uh, then that's just gonna transfer to the plates or uh, tissues that are going through the washer and they won't be properly disinfected. So that certainly could impact on, on so, the safety of the food. Kelly Johannes was another guest who cut short her visit. She says she was put off by the sight of a row of burnt out accommodation waiting to be removed. I had to clean the size down, I had to go and buy cleaning products and a cloth. The floors were just atrocious. It, it, again, had to sweep through. So basically I was doing their job for them. Just couldn't wait to get out really. It was just it was appalling, disgusting. We put our findings to the owners, Britannia, who told us... We can assure you that the health and safety of our guests is of paramount importance to us. We always endeavour to engage with our guests. All apartments are thoroughly cleaned prior to a guest's arrival and the fixtures and fittings are specifically chosen to provide a hygienic environment in what is a self-catering apartment.